What up guys, Chef Yuck in the building. As you guys know, it's bulk season. So we're gonna make a pretty cool, pretty easy, pretty delicious recipe here. Super high in protein. This is one of my staples. Um, there are some substitutions you can do if you're dieting and you need lower calories. Obviously I'm on a bulk. I'm choosing the higher calorie options um, with the exception of the mayo that I have, which is half fat because mayo is super high in fat, right? Um, I'm gonna clarify that last shopping video, by the way, guys. I wasn't saying to eat unlimited amounts of fat, even when you're bulking, okay? I thought that was common sense. Anyway, getting into this video, tuna melts. Uh, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, ew, tuna, I hate tuna. Probably because you don't know how to make it. I already know off the bat, one of my ingredients, red onion, is a controversial one for a lot of people. You know, they're really picky with it, they might not like it, but trust me, even if you're one of those people that don't like it, try it. It makes everything taste so much better. It's just night and day. Um, if you know how to use it to your advantage, it makes food so much better. And I know you guys all love your food, so trust me on this one. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible, so let's do it. By the way, how's my bulk looking, guys? About 195, checking in. All right, anyway, enjoying it. I don't wanna see abs yet. Let's do this. Okay, guys, so to start off, I'm gonna be using chicken of the sea tuna in water. Um, each one of these cans, you guys can see the size, it's pretty awesome, the macros on these. Um, you're going to get zero fat, you're going to get zero carbs, and 39 protein per can. And I'm going to make two cans. It's going to be a pretty big meal. These are not small cans, but they're also not huge, so it's doable. So I'm going to have about 80 grams of protein between these two cans. And, you know, after cheese and stuff like that, and trace protein from the bread, I'm probably gonna end up with 90 grams of protein in this meal. So check this out. First thing, open up the cans. Next up, drain these in the sink. Next, you're gonna empty out both cans into a container. Don't miss any, because otherwise you're missing protein, guys. So you guys, if you miss that, you're gonna be missing out on a few grams of protein. If you miss out on a few grams of protein, you're gonna miss out on gains and most likely in your left bicep. If you miss out on gains in your left bicep, what happens when you find that girl you out on a date, right? You guys are in bed and you're on her right side and she's like, oh, let me feel your arms. And she grabs your left arm and you're like, oh, and you, and you tense up, right? And then she's like, what the hell is this? Did you not empty out your tune? I could tell you guys don't want that. All right guys, now that we've emptied out both cans, next up is the mayo, all right? So let's get it. Okay guys, this is the mayo I choose um, for the most part. This is made craft mayo with olive oil. Uh, the reason I choose the olive oil one is because it has half the fat as the normal best foods mayo and it still tastes good. They do make really, really low fat mayo and fat free mayo, but as you can already imagine, that doesn't taste good at all. So I like to compromise, not get the full fat stuff, but the stuff that I can still use a good amount of and not go overboard on my fats. So this actually has three grams of fat per serving. This is actually lower than I expected. I thought it was about four or five. I think they actually might have decreased the amount of fat in this because I think before it used to have four or five. But anyway, three grams of, or yeah, three grams of fat per uh, 15 grams, which is one tablespoon. All right, we're gonna be using a few, maybe three to four um, tablespoons, which is still only gonna be about 12 maybe 15 grams of fat at most, all right? Um, so we're gonna use this. Again, I'm not really tracking to a T. I'm just getting a good idea of what I'm using because I'm bulking and that's what I'm doing right now. But if you are tracking, I recommend you to keep tracking and weigh it. It's not a big deal, okay? Uh, look at the serving size, look at the macros, add it up. Start mixing it up. You're gonna run into a problem if the tuna ends up being too dry. So that's gonna be a rookie mistake. What I recommend is uh, mixing it in, right? Don't go, in, don't go overboard in the beginning because you can't take away the mayo. But uh, start off conservatively and then add from there if you need to, okay? Um, and a, a signal that it's too dry is if you have like some tuna breaking away, it's not smooth looking, there's no white to it. All those things are things you want to stay away from, right? And you, again, you don't want to go overboard either. So it's hard to explain, but I'll show you a pretty good consistency um, and a good amount of mayo to tuna ratio when I got it, all right? This is pretty close right here, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more just so you guys can see the perfect consistency. And that's gonna be perfect. 
All right, guys, so check this out. Here it is. This is what it looks like. Okay, sticks together. It's not all breaking apart. Okay, it's got enough to stick together. That's usually where you guys want it, so make sure you have the right amount of mayo. That's, that's a big important step. Okay, so from there, guys, you're gonna wanna add your onion. I already have some onion chopped up in a little bag, but I have a video clip that I recorded, luckily, that saves me here, um, of how to chop an onion up, and I'm gonna include that here, all right? So watch that, make sure you know how to cut an onion, don't cut yourself, and cut the onion effectively, efficiently, and at the right size, and then you're gonna get what I have here. Once you have that, then you're gonna put it in. Obviously, minimal calories, I'm not counting it like I said, but if you are, you're gonna have to weigh that too, right? Anything with calories, you're gonna weigh it. So, putting in the onions next. So as you can see, good amount. I'm gonna mix it all in, okay? This is what really gives it flavor. Tuna without red onion is just like peanut butter without jelly, man. Um, all right, never mind, because peanut butter without jelly is actually still good, but you get the idea. I might've put a little bit too much in here, but I usually go heavy on the red onion anyway. I'm not really worried about it, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, guys, here it is. Done with the onion. Now, all I have left to do right now for the tuna Strong, you can see my dog right here, Lexi. Um, is add salt and a little bit of pepper, okay? Um, usually I also recommend adding a little tiny bit of raisin, like barely any, maybe a tiny sprinkle of raisins in here because a sweet element is always good in a tuna or chicken salad. Um, a lot of times you'll see like little chopped up apple and sometimes I like to put chopped up celery in there too. So those are recommendations. I'm not gonna put any of those in there today because right now I'm just hungry and I wanna eat it, but I do recommend having that sweet element in it. So time to add some salt, a little bit of pepper, and from there I'm gonna load up the bread and then I'm gonna sprinkle it with some cheese on top of the tuna and then I'm gonna throw it into the toaster oven. And I'm gonna show you what to do if you don't have a toaster oven. Okay guys, I'm using this bread, uh, buttermilk white bread. This bread has 20 grams of carbs per slice. You can easily find breads that have a little bit less. Um, this is pretty moderate. There are some breads that have, you know, mid 20s, even high 20s per slice. Um, so depending on your diet, choose what bread you want to use. All right, I'm gonna use these. And I'm gonna make my tuna melt open faced. Pepper. All right, so you're gonna load this on pretty good. I'm gonna show you how. Make sure to pat it down good because you're gonna sprinkle cheese over it and then you're gonna put it in your toaster oven and the cheese is gonna melt all over the top. Um, but you don't want your tuna falling off all over the place and stuff, right? Don't be afraid to be a little bit rough on it like your girl, seriously. Ready for cheese. And by the way, guys, right now is when I recommend turning your toaster oven on before you put the tuna on the bread, just so it starts preheating a little bit. You don't need to do it too early. Now, if you're weighing your cheese, make sure to put your plate on the scale and weigh how much cheese you're using, obviously, okay? I'm just eyeing it. I have a good idea of how much I'm using. I'm bulking. If you're tracking, make sure to track these macros. You want to cover it up nicely so that once it melts, it's going to melt all over the top, okay? This is a good time to fill your fats up if you guys haven't hit high fats throughout the day. Um, I know that was a problem with me when I was dieting. I would just save a lot of fats and then I ended up saving too much. So, all right guys, this is a toaster oven. If you don't have one, I really recommend getting one because it's very, very, very useful. You can pick one up for maybe 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks at Target, Walmart, anything like that. Uh, very useful thing. If you don't have this, you can also do this same thing that I'm doing 
using a regular oven. Just uh, increase it to a very high temperature, preheat it. Once it's there, you can just put these tuna melts in just like you would cookies on a cookie tray or something, all right? Um, but this makes it very convenient, so here we go. I'm gonna put it in and pull it out and show you what it looks like as the final product. Woo, toasty. Final product, guys. Fwa. Let me show you the bottom too, so you know I mean business. Nice and toasty. Fwa. Bite into that and tell me you don't like tuna. Um, just do it right, guys. That's 90 grams of protein in that meal. Didn't seem too huge, right? Even for those of you who have problems eating uh, volume on your bulk, that's something that can get it done. Not too high in volume. Uh, very calorically dense as far as protein. Um, you got your fats, you got your protein, you got your carbs out of it. Balanced meal, right? Maybe you get some greens on the side of it and you're good to go. Bunch of water, right? Stay hydrated. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like, share it if you thought it was useful, uh, or just make it, you know? Um, give yourself some gains. Treat yourself to something good. Um, I really like this. Like I said, this is one of my staples, guys. If you eat it, it's gonna go straight to your biceps. Wow.